fashion. Yeah, I'm just curious. Sorry. Anyways, of course, Shine, kind of the uh, the master of counterpicking characters, right? Like you've you've known him from Smash Four. He had a plethora of characters to kind of pick certain matchups, right? And he also was more. If he had a main, it would be the Lucas main and Muffin from Mars. Also, a fellow Lucas main. Just solo Shine. Lucas. Yeah. That's why I feel like between both of the players, like Shine has good fundamentals overall, but Muffin the best solo Lucas. Though. Oh, absolutely. He's also been on the rise here. Winner semis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, what's it called? Shine never really doing the Lucas Ditto, doesn't like it. He plays a bunch of other characters that he knows beats Lucas. <laughs> or at least he can beat. It's the glittery, man. It's when you feel like your fans are going to give you the Lucas Ditto, but no. <laughs> I'm really trying to play that. Probably was a down throw into the forward air. Good mix of understanding Shine what option would be going for. Well, ooh, down throw, try to go for the forward air, but just stuffed him off in uh, Dion away. That's also one thing you got to understand when... when um, when Ike goes for a down throw or a down tilt, it's your it's in your best interest to actually DI away because they can't get a follow up if you're not DIing or if you DI in. Mm -hmm. When you get grabbed on the ledge, you're so scared. You're like, I don't want to mess up my DI, so they DI in. And yeah. Once you do that, you get a free up air or fair from Ike. Yeah. This is so scary. Luke's at 113 on that platform, and up air will definitely kill. Yeah, if, if Ike gets a follow up from a neutral air or a fair or a back run air. Run up back air. Yeah. AKA a RAR back air or reverse aerial rush back air. We'll see what it is. So right now, the name of the game for Muffin is you have to get Shine off stage, you have to get Ike off stage, but you have to make sure you get those right guesses because Ike is usually just going to go for the jump quick draw. Oh, great read in the roll in. Yeah, I saw the roll in there. Good tech chase coming out from Muffin from Mars. Looking for the spacing here, 0% for both players' names. Muffin looking for the spacing because he knows the one thing about Ike's game plan here is the simplicity of approaching with Nair, mm. right? If you space Nair properly, you'll be able to walk away from a possible punish out of shield option. And if you don't, if you do, uh, if you don't space Nair, like you will get punished. So that's one thing that Shinji's aiming the game here is space my Nair and get a follow up just like that. Mm -hmm. no I like more. I like the the PK Thunder attempt to try to catch Shinji when he's quick drawing, but it's just such a gamble. And Muffin doing that like hard committal option will put him in lag. It might not be the best thing unless you're absolutely sure. And even then, he was sure about it, but he didn't hit it. So it's going to be... It's really difficult. And that's a lot of problems Ike's, or, uh, people are having against Ike. It's dealing with that Nair and edge guarding Ike. Because it's not as free as it looks. PK freeze. That would have been so close if we actually angled it. I like the fact they yeah. set the down smash though. Trying to sense Shine's get up from the... Shine not going not gonna to fall for that again. Mm. Yo, man, fool me once. Alright, well, the one thing I like that seeing from Muffin here is trying to go for Zaris. Muffin told me how Zaris has some pretty good follow-ups there. I like the fact that he hits his Zaris, but he doesn't go for a follow-up immediately. He's looking for Shine's response, so he can get the proper follow-up with each one. I do like how Muffin is trying to, like, <gasps> con so yeah, contest these options, try to deal with Ike's Nair, but it's just not working. Yeah. One thing he needed to go back to that we saw, like, a couple seconds earlier was the spacing game between him and Ike, right? Ooh, nice parry. parry. Not gonna get anything. That's a lot of things people are complaining about. A lot of people are like, oh, you just need to parry Ike's aerial. And other people are like, you can't actually get anything if you parry still. Yeah. If they still space it correctly. Exactly. That's one thing like I mentioned about Ike, right? Just spacing the parries. Oh, that was, a, that was a big brain play. I'm so sorry. Not spacing the parries. Spacing, spacing the shield, right? It's super crucial for Ike because if you get the misspace, you will get punished. Back throw, send him off stage is where the ledge guard's going to be. Just neutral get up. Why not? I, I don't know if I agree with that option. Going for the down smash, that's going to leave you in lag. Ike with the big sword, he's going to have a disjoint for you waiting. Yeah, exactly. And he did, he, at that point, Shinnick had no roll option there. He didn't roll, he didn't, you know, fall flat and try to go for a roll get up. Yeah, he just caught Muffin just kind of trying to assert dominance. Oh, good tech for Muffin, but unfortunately that allows Shinnick to go for a tech chase. And he immediately puts damage. Muffin off the stage, tries to finish him off with the down air. All right, now Muffin is getting put in the mix. Shine is moving right now. He's getting all these hits in. He evened it up. So fast. Look at this. Already 80%. Catch the neutral get up again. You're going to have to start changing that up, Muffin. I like that. DI out. DI out. Immediately just to avoid any possible follow up coming up from Shine. Gets the down air play. But Doesn't get the fourth hit. Mm -hmm. Definitely would have put actually. It actually would have put Ike in front of um, Lucas to get the follow up from Muffin. Space out these PK fires. Oh, I like he didn't try to go for a grab against uh, Shine. Oh, great. Great tech with the PK, uh, PK fire. No, oh, just one hit and uh, Luke is definitely going to die. But if Muffin gets his correct read on Shine, he's going to be able to get this stock. PK freeze. Oh, he moves a little bit closer and Shine giving him respect. Yeah, no use to try and punish that. That basically has no lag once you let go of it. Yeah. And of course, Muffin, from Marvel, like you said, has no lag. Can definitely go for a follow-up option. Oh, that was so late. Whiffs the grab. Such late reaction time. Neutral get up being, even though Shine put out the F-tilt, I would have been scared. Yeah. Oh, super Shine last hit. Super close. For the PK fire and he gets the freeze yet again. There's another attempt here, of course. 
back air. That's the thing about Ike when he shows his back where right? you kind of have to pay respect to it. He faces away from you for a good reason. He wants the back air because he's one of his fastest aerials. Mm -hmm. Right now, Shine, in that last hit situation, he was literally just looking for a, da a back air, a dash grab, or like a dash attack. Those are the three things he was looking for. Muffin kind of, it looked like he forgot about it. Yeah. He was just trying to go in the air to like put out a fair of his own, but Ike's back air is so fast. It's almost, it's like you can't react to it when he goes for it. He's just swoop and you're already dead and it's also like one of the two things i can get from Utra, right you can get the back air you can get the up air so that's one thing that muffin also understands like he, he goes for Nutria, he can at certain percents at certain di's you can't follow it up with the back air or forward air mm. sorry or an up air well game two that was game one oh was Shine, right i'm so sorry yeah she won that game i uh oh yeah yeah she won the first game with the back air did we run it back? Yeah, we're just going to go back to PS2. Super la last hit game, so I understand that. Muffin just going to try to clean up his play, try to pay a little more respect to Ike, get these edge guards in. I like the falling up air to uh, bait him in with the up tilt. And uh, right now, Muffin's conditioning Shine a lot with these uh, with these hits to get him to air dodge down, but he's not reacting fast enough to like go for his uh, ledge trapping and his frame traps. Right near back air going in. I like for the, the fake ledge trap attempt, try to bait Muffin into going for an option immediately. Mm, that, that shows Muffin reaction, the importance of DIing away when you get down throw. God, I'm jumping. Oh, I like oh, that idea. Oh, what a comeback from Muffin, I, dude. That's a great one. Yeah, that was a great answer. I'm surprised Shina didn't try to let go earlier, but I think he might have been in enough lag where he's going to get hit anyway, so it's yeah. like, I'll keep holding. Ooh, yeah, finally cast him going high. Shina not going to actually try to hit Muffin right there, even though he's in end lag from PK of uh, Thunder. Even though Lucas is at 98%, uh, that is kill percent. Like he has Tom a life. grab. She knows he's getting these neutral get up reads, but he's not sp uh, timing it just right. All right, PK Thunder missing that opportunity there for Muffin, but gets back on the um, she gets back on the stage. She not gonna actually take advantage of Lucas doing that grab. I understand that he. Oh. He's been, he's been so good at whiffing the cash because he knows when Muffin wants to pull it out, too, as well. So he's kind of paying respects. Showing the back air again. That's Muffin's opportunity to understand he might be going for a back air. See, like that. That mm -hmm. instant back air. Great tomahawk going into the... <gasps> Great down to the How did that still connect? And he was so a, high yeah, up. Yeah, he was high up, dude. I would have been upset. I would have been like... You guys yoinked me? out of the sky, yeah. Yeah. But Shina's probably like, yeah, I mean, I've done that, too. Yeah. Can't be mad at the character that you also made at the same time. I am. I'm going to respectfully disagree with that. <laughs> I like, can oh, make so that's, that's what that feels like, right? That's yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, okay, you know what? That's fair. I've done that to other people. Nice. Good back out of the shield. And the Sheena got back on the stage, and he saw the cross-up. Well, that was yeah. an interesting uh, air dodge in, but Sheena not going to, like, do a dash attack or an F tilt or anything. Yeah, he could have punished it a lot more heavier. He could have done any tilt and yeah. would have killed. <laughs> he get freeze. It's oh. kind of the importance of why we've seen Muffin go for PK Freeze, right? His ability to have literally almost no land lag from it. Oh, the quick draw. Yeah, that's what happened when you guessed wrong once. He had the idea, he just didn't he didn't space it right. Now Muffin uh, using these down tilts a lot. It's so fast, it's frame three. It doesn't quite lead into like grabs and things, but a higher percent will lead into like a fair. And Stick fair out of devil. shield. Yeah. Caught Sheena kind of just jumping into it. And two whole, two whole donuts right now for Muffin. He's landing up airs. That's going to be a lot of damage. It's just two up airs and that's at 34%. That's crazy. Right, down air, not going to not gonna have enough hits done to actually true combo in anything, so it's a little too early percents. Got him shielding. Down throw into the up air, going for another one, especially with the platform extension here, but Shinae missing the grab. Muffin finally able to get back on the stage. Shinae missed the last one. Okay, Muffin turning things around from last game. There's the PK freeze, but immediately Shinae gets back on the stage with the back air. Yeah, Shinae running off again with the back air. Back air at... No, okay, we're not going to live. Yep. I mean, Good die. Shinae going in for the uh, for the downer right there. I would have liked to maybe just see a runoff fair or something. Yeah, but I've also would have liked to see Shinae spacing there on the, on, the, on the ledge there, because that allowed Muffin... That's one thing you have to understand. Muffin loves to get follow-ups from the ledge. Especially, he can turn things around, but great space forward kill. Uh, they're still not going to kill yet. Unfortunately, I'd like to see Shine go for a bit harder punishes. Up here, going to take it. This is not out of the realm for Ike. Couple nares, and you're going to find yourself uh, at a scary percent. Oh, and again, reading the, the roll in with the down smash. Yeah. At that situation, that's what kind of happens because Shine didn't tech. 
mm -hmm. as well. So taking out the ledge is super crucial because, of course, Muffin can get that down smash, which we've been seeing him get these roll get up options against certain players, right? Like, hey, if you're not going to tech and you roll get up like this, you're just going to get faced by my down smash. So that's kind of mm -hmm. your opportunity to understand, like, I need to tech more, and I also need to roll away more. I have no reason to roll towards my opponent. Yeah, but it, my, my thing here for, uh, for Muffin is he's either reading roll away, roll in, or the occasional roll away. Sheena is just, like, kind of giving in to what Muffin wants, and he's not getting the hardest punishes. He's going for this hard read. He goes for the roll in. Instead of rolling away, he might get dash attack, but there's also that chance that Muffin might not space it right. He could get up attack, but there's that chance that Muffin runs in for that. And it's like, he, he, he might be giving Muffin a little too much respect on these ledge traps, or these uh, tech situations. Alright, good F tilt again. Cuts his jump right there. Muffin in a bit of a state of trouble here, but he's still able to use that long tether recovery against the PK fire. This is definitely one thing that Muffin's going to be keen to play. Oh, this is big, especially on the platform, but Oh, but scoops him up! No, man, scoops. Yeah, but Shina going to the Bowser. This is the other character he would go for uh, Lucas back in Smash 4. It was it was really even, but Bowser could, like, hoo-ha Lucas at, like, 60% or do something like that. And in this game, it's basically the same. He had an aim for the ledge, and it felt like he held a little bit up or back. I think he wasn't able to set the ledge. Yeah, the not a good angle. Going for the down smash on the advanced, get up, get to the ledge, and immediately roll in. I like it. I'm sorry, just to, like, name some things that I liked about Ultimate. Was Ultimate got, a lot of, got rid of a lot of hoo-ha options. Yeah, there was, there was definitely a lot. Too many? Definitely too many, I'll yeah. be honest. And they kind of felt like if I get grabbed, I die. Or if I get grabbed, I get follow up for free. So it's like, uh, now in this game, it involves a little bit more neutral than the grab option. I yeah, down smash good really. stuff. Yeah, there's still, like, combo throws and everything, and the kill throws have been toned down a little bit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I felt this much more neutral in this game. That's just my opinion. Yeah, Smash 4 was just shield grab so I can get my 80% grab follow up. Yeah. Of course, like one of the best characters to do that was Diddy. That's kind of why he like prevailed in that game. Diddy Kong, man. Uh, man anyway, but we're not <laughs> not talking about Diddy Kong. Yeah. That's character of the past. <laughs> character of the future here, though, is looking like Shinee's Bowser. He's so far in the running here to get it against Muffin. I like the mix up there, getting the jump option to fake him out there, but immediately Shinee returns the favor. I know. I don't like that Shinee's standing so, oh, so good. Because he, so he was gonna, that's one of those things that we see Muffin do, right? He goes for Zero for it from Lynch, mm -hmm. and Shinee gets the call in that situation, able to fake that out. Yeah, Muffin cool. has a really bad time of kind of autopiloting. Oh, yeah. I like that jump out of shield option. Get, get me away. I don't know what Lucas is going to do, but I don't like it. Yeah, man, that's kind of one of those things you got to be in this game, right? So you gotta stay oh, cool. so much damage. Uh, Look at that. That oh. was a free 38%. Space F smash not gonna hit. You're gonna fire. go. Oh, gets unfortunately lands a little bit too early for the fireball to come out. Back throw. The DI was. DI you know, wasn't good. Yeah, it was not good. I feel like he could have lived, but I also feel like it's the fact that he was on the percent and the ledge as well. But of course, Bowser would have given me. Oh my god, excuse knew, me. Oh, I don't agree with the new to get up on that. You could have get up attack that. That would have beat it out. You might have taken a bit of uh, breath damage. Right now, at 111%. Nice. The next time he's on the ledge. Excuse why not? me, sir. Excuse why not? Me. Hell yeah. If, as long as he doesn't hit that platform, he might live. Like Over I said, it. if he hit that platform, that was a—I yeah. don't want to oh, say that was a dead no. child, but that yeah. was a dead child. A dead child. So Shane going up two one right now. Pretty much Bowser said, "Hey, where's the mother three localization?" Ow! <laughs> there are some things I'd still like to see Shane doing, like when he's going for these ledge traps. He's putting his whole body at the get up uh, distance. If you sit at roll distance and you F tilt, it'll still hit you and yeah. it'll linger enough, so you're not worried about get it, but about get up attack or anything. Yeah, and you want to understand too the fact that Sheena kind of understands Muffin's options from the ledge, right? He's been finally catching up to it. Like that's Muffin's opportunity to understand, like, hey man, he's catching up to Zara and my forward air from the ledge, and eventually he'll space out my PK fire. That's my opportunity to understand. I need to start mixing things up, or I need to focus getting back on the stage rather than getting options from the ledge, but at the same time, the minute Muffin is able to uh, land a Zara from the ledge, he's able to get big percents and a big comeback from it too, because we kind of saw how that played out. He's able to get 55% off the bat. Mm -hmm. okay, in game four, we're going to go over to town. I'm not sure if I agree with this option. Lucas hasn't been killing off the top, but the, the idea of letting Bowser live longer is kind of scary. As, but as long as you get these edge guards, it could work out. And I suppose he doesn't want to get Bowser bombed at like a hundred. Yeah. Well that's also one thing for Lucas to understand too. He actually I feel like the way that Muffin plays, he kills more from the sides rather than up top. And he wants to live longer from the top because of course if he gets Bowser bombed like I said it could be big, but Muffin from Mars big things up to eleven. Yeah, big combo coming in. Not gonna finish off. He tried to get that backer off the ledge, but he just wasn't able to scoop him down. Big a freeze and then no, no up smash. The Excuse me, sir. Up smash would have definitely taken that one. That would have caught him in no matter what. I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed from Muffin right there. That was a big opportunity lost, and he might even lose his stock because of it. 
had an opportunity to go up so much. But you know what? I like this. I like this stalling you did with these uh with these side magnets. But yeah. catch him DI away. Can lose that first stock. Muffin kind of shaking his head, but can't let yourself go down that much. Yeah. No. Oh, what a tech! He got hit by the semi spike, but he was able to take that in the last second. Yeah, still. That was a great tech. He was able to live because of that. Gets the down smash, and Mili Shine gets up from the ledge. He's gonna jump get it because he knew Muffin had committed already to the down to the ground play instead of reading the jump options. Oh, and fair living. Just like I said, Town and City made Bowser just live a little longer. Nice, gets the down air. Good follow with the back air there. But 200%. Shine, you're the heaviest character in the game, man. You gotta live a little bit longer, especially with Town and City. Having a higher ceiling. Right now, Shine no. Shine was just sitting in the shield, and that would have been a perfect tomahawk for uh, Muffin to get get that up throw at 215. I doubt you're living. Yeah. Up air? Yeah. That was being really big. I would assume that work. Only 45 percent. So that's just a couple of Lucas conversions. If he could pop off again like he did that first stock and then kill, I can see him bringing this all the way back. So yeah. that's all about how he gets the pop off and immediately Shine not letting Muffin get the opportunity. He keeps going for the flamethrower to yeah. armor it through. The Oh, big oh. two frame coming in. Shine two stocks ahead. Muffin on his winner side life. And it looks like it was a sweet spot from that four kill as well. Yeah, that uh, that that uh down smash, that two frame, that'll hit below the ledge now. So it's really good if you can get that re to two frame. Mm -hmm. Shine just had that, but a lot oh, of up airs. Lucas sir, is head banging. I have a middle head concert going on right now, but immediately the up throw for Shine turning into the forward air, looking I to bring the up tilt to reset Muffin. And more forward towards the ledge. Get the Bowser bomb here. Right now, Muffin's kind of getting desperate to end out this stock. He's he's throwing out these options. He's really committing. He's throwing a lot of things out. You're seeing it right here. He's just stuck in the corner. It's so bad. Back here, not going to hit. I want to see Muffin kind of look to spacing out more. I, unfortunately, hopefully, it's not going to be a little bit too late. Almost. Oh, actually, rolling it too. She made the adaptation from when he was using Ike. F tilt. Back throw, yeah, that's gonna be it. Right now, Muffin, what do you got for us? Yeah. You got a, you got a fresh stock, because you're gonna need it. Get Shinoi off stage, back air at like 10. Tomahawk grabs are gonna be one of the things Muffin needs to make, especially able to go ahead and use spacing and get some away Four from the throw? down smash. Fourth throw? I don't think that'll be it. Yeah, good DI coming out from Muffin. Shinoi gonna go for an edge guard? Nah, I don't yeah. gotta do anything, bro. He has to go low, yeah. Still gonna get hit by that. That's, uh, that's not happy. Oh, no! no! The wind box pushed him away! He... Sorry, the, the fire, the fire, yeah, the fire. Yeah, the wind box from fire just pushed him away. He said, go away. Oh, that hurts. That was a literally bloom a kiss and Muffin SD because of that. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. Shinny moving on to winner's finals here. Muffin still really good, but just the adaptation wasn't enough.